The Internet, 2015 to 16. Millennial expectations are on the rise. People look for purpose rather than entertainment. In 2004, users logged on to the internet for an average of 40 minutes a day. In 2014, they log in for 4 hours a day. More users have transacted online today than ever in the history of humanity. Cutting-edge technology today automatically becomes tomorrow's intuitive expectation. E-commerce is a standard expectation from retailers, as is an omni-channel platinum customer service from every service provider. HTML5 is already commonplace and the minimal design being used in Web 3.0 is already becoming stagnant and outdated. Augmented reality is available on mobile phones. Wearable devices are said to take over the market by mid-2015. Innovation Disruptors 2014 Apple introduces a smartwatch and enters the lifestyle and fashion accessories market. Google is building a phone with a stereo camera to create user-generated 3D maps of the entire world. Facebook intends to crowdsource ideas on how the Oculus Rift will impact the next generation of the web. They have also vowed to bring the internet to every person on the planet. Microsoft is pioneering augmented reality in a whole different way. Their acquisition of Lumia from Nokia is allowing them to engage users with a voice-based personal assistant. Augmented reality maps that work along with the camera of the device. Innovation Disruptors 2015-16Key disruptors are trying to get users and corporations online. Big data, predictive analysis and insights are currently areas that are being explored and the industry is only in its nascent stages. Gamification is only beginning to be applied to the non-entertainment based environments. Innovators will also adopt applied math game logicians in the near future. John enters Comparesite on Skylab. He previously applied for a card from the site. He had visited a few chat room cafes to figure out which card to pick. He is now interested in getting a new phone and decides to find out about which one would be best for him. He checks out the deals on the Comparesite virtual store and picks three models he's interested in. He then visits a chat room cafe and checks out reviews left by other customers and speaks to users who are online. Finally, he decides on a model and reverts to the virtual store to finalize the deal through Comparesite. He interacts with one of the employees at the store to get his opinions on what would be best for him. The store employee figures from his heads-up display that John purchased a card from the site earlier and that his telecom service provider is also offering deals via the compare site. John gets to buy his mobile via his credit card for a bigger discount and is also offered an upgrade on his telecom plan. He teleports to the Easy Telecom store to collect his platinum service pack. He then customizes his new plan and activates it for his mobile phone. He is pinged by the Comparesite employee about a mobile insurance plan that seems almost perfect for John. John teleports to the Easy Insurance outlet. He passes through a secure verification process and his mobile insurance is instantly sent for processing. He meets with an executive and clarifies his queries about the mobile insurance. He posts, rates and reviews the service provided by Comparesite at the chatroom cafe. John then gets an alert by his insurance company that his mobile insurance is in progress and will be active in an hour.